Okay, so if we look at the, the old way and the new way of doing this, you know, basically what we were taught is to build a site, of course, and to target, you know, a high volume keyword and, you know, orientate the home page for that. Um, and of course, you know, build a few pages around that. Um, but, you know, just to add substance to the site, so you had your previous year about us and maybe a few uh, more descriptive pages. And then the, the key thing that we were all taught is just to build backlinks, wasn't it? Build as many links as you can. And, you know, there, there'll be good links, of course, and bad links. And we just kept going daily, weekly. And then of course what happens, you get too many of the bad backlinks or if the algorithm changes, then everything, everything goes, okay? You know, your site gets you know, penalized, you lose your traffic and you lose all that time and all that effort, um, you know, so it's not, it's not the right strategy for the long term, okay? So, you know, the way to, to do an authority site is like this. So again, you know, you obviously have to, you know, build your, your main site and you orientate your homepage, you know, towards your, you know, your high volume keyword. But instead of focusing your time just on building backlinks, focus more on the content. And because you can create lots of pages and, you know, each page, um, it is targeted at long tail keywords, which attract the long tail traffic. So, and then what happens is you get all the traffic, you know, coming in. Until you end up with a huge amount of traffic. Um, and the key thing is, is this is long tail traffic, all right? It's not short keyword terms. Okay, so why is long tail traffic important? Let me show you this. Okay, so you know, if you just look at a chart um, and you know, you look at the high volume keywords here and the low volume. Here, and let's take a high volume keyword, I don't know, shoes for example. Okay, so great, it gets tons of traffic. But if we look at a really long tail keyword, So ladies white running shoe, for example, you can see that that is a buying keyword, all right? So, you know, that person is, knows exactly what they're looking for. And, you know, the whole chart looks like that. And the key thing to understand is this is where the buyers are. It's where the conversions happen. So, you know, if you can attract more of those, then you're gonna get more conversions and more buyers on your site. 